Hey guys, so here's your guys' homework on triangle or congruent triangles. So here's number one. Now, it says state the two triangles are congruent. If they are, state how you know. Well, first off, you guys, you can see that both of these, we have a pair of congruent sides. <coughs> so we're going to label it SS, right? And we also have a pair of corresponding angles that are congruent because they're both 90. So we can say AA. Now, something to notice. This, you guys, is congruent to itself, right? And that is S for this triangle and S for this triangle. So if you guys were to start from here, going this way, it would be side, angle, side, right? And then doing it for the same triangle, right? Starting from here and going this way would be side, angle, side. So these triangles, you guys, are congruent by side, angle, side. Okay. <clears throat> number two. So number two, uh, I noticed that we have one pair of congruent sides, right? We have one pair of congruent angles. And lastly, we have this right here, you guys. So when you guys take a look at this, right? Again, make sure you guys go uh, in a certain um, fashion. So if you guys were to take a look at this, this one is side angle side, right? But this one, you guys, it doesn't seem to follow the same pathway because this should be over here, but it's way out there. So this one, you guys, this one is SSA. So they don't, they do not share the same type of congruent or triangle congruency. So as a result, right, this one is not congruent. So the top one is side angle side you guys but the bottom one is side side angle or angle side side which is not a theorem so this one is not congruent all right so let's take a look at number three okay number three we have one pair of sides congruent to each other these angles are congruent to each other now what information do you know well you know the sides congruent to each other so and as you guys can see, so if we start from here for this triangle, it goes like this, right? So that's side angle side, SAS. So starting from here, going the same route, right? SAS. So they're both SAS. So we got SAS to prove that the triangles are congruent. Okay, number four. So number four. These pair are congruent, right, you guys? These angles are congruent, and these sides are congruent. <coughs> but if you guys look at both of them, right? If I were to go this way, this is SAS, right? But for this one, if I were to go this way, this one's SSA. So they don't match up, and secondly, this is something you guys should notice. This goes side and then side, right? But this one goes side and angle. So they don't even match up in terms of corresponding sides. They're not in the same order. So as a result, this one, you guys, is not congruent. All right, let's take a look at five. So we have one pair of congruent sides right here. We have another pair of congruent sides. And this one is also congruent to itself, right? So if you guys take a look, first tick mark to second to third, SSS, right? First tick mark, second to third, SSS. So they are both congruent by SSS. The triangles are congruent since we have three pairs of corresponding sides that are congruent. All right, uh, let's look at six. We got one pair of congruent sides, another pair of congruent sides, and we have this one right and if you guys were to take a look 
Okay, so if I started with the two tick mark, going to the three tick mark and the one, SSS. Two tick mark, three tick mark, one tick mark, SSS. So they're both the same. So these triangles are congruent by SSS. All right, let's take a look at seven. This side's congruent to this one, this side's congruent to this one, and this side's congruent to this one. Now, let's make sure the pathways are the same, right? First tick mark, second tick mark, third tick mark, SSS. First tick mark, second tick mark, third tick mark, SSS. So these triangles are congruent by side, side, side. All right, let's take a look at this one. These sides are congruent. We got a pair of congruent angles. And something to notice, you guys, they share this common side. Now in terms of the order, right? This is the first tick mark going to the angle, going to the second tick mark. So it's SAS. First tick mark going to the angle, going to the second tick mark. It is also SAS. So this one is congruent by side angle side. <clears throat> okay, number nine. Okay, so we got these sides are congruent, these angles are congruent, and this side is congruent to itself. <coughs> now, take a look at this order, you guys. We got side for the first tick mark, congruent angle, right? So first tick mark, congruent angle, and then second tick mark. So for that triangle, it's SAS, right? Now, look at if you were to do the order for the number 9 one, right? First tick mark, you skip over this angle, and you skip over this side to get to that angle, right, you guys? And then it goes to this. So, this is not the same pathway, you guys, because it skips over an angle measurement and a side. Look at this one, right? This one just went directly to an angle on a side. But then for this one, you guys, it skipped over an angle and a side to get to the angle. So these are not the same, so this is not congruent. <coughs> okay, number 10. This side is congruent to this one, this angle is congruent to this one, and this side is congruent to that one. Now let's make sure the pathway is correct, right? Third tick mark to the angle, angle to the second tick mark. Looks to be good third tick mark to the angle, and the angle to the second tick mark. So the pathway seems to be the same, which is good, so that means these triangles are congruent by side, angle, side. Okay, so that was the first go around. Now let's go for the next go around. Okay, starting from question one. So this angle is, or sorry, this side is congruent to that side. This angle is congruent to this angle, and you guys, they share this common side, so this side is congruent to that side. Now, let's make sure the pathways are pretty good, right? So, I'm going to go from this side to this side, and this side to this side. So, it's SSA. So, is that the same for this? This first tick mark to the second tick mark, right? Then the second tick mark to that angle, SSA. So they're both SSA, but you guys know SSA is not a congruent theorem, so this is not congruent. SSA is not a congruence theorem. Okay, number two. This angle is congruent to this angle, right? And this angle, you guys, is congruent to that angle. They share this common side, so this angle, this side is congruent to this side. Now, I'll just check the pathway, right? We have this angle first going to the side, the, and then going to the side to the <coughs> second arc angle. Now let's see if that's the same for the other one. This is one angle arc going to the side, and the side going to this arc. So they are the same, so these triangles are congruent by angle side angle. Number three, this side's congruent to this one, this side's congruent to this one, and that side, you guys, is congruent to itself. And as you guys can see, if you were to check the pathways right, so you guys could choose any type of pathway as long as you're consistent with both. So, first tick mark going here, I'll just go to the third tick mark, and then third tick mark to the second tick mark. Looks to be, and now, let's check on the other side to see if it's the same. 
this tick, first tick mark to the third tick mark, and the third tick mark to the other tick mark. And if you guys look, they are the same. So this is congruent by side, side, side. <coughs> okay, number four. This angle is congruent to this angle. This side is congruent to this side. And if you guys take a look at these angles, right? This angle is congruent to this one because of vertical angles are congruent. So this angle is congruent to this one. Lastly, make sure your guys' pathing is good. So starting with the first angle, going to the side, right? And then the side going to that angle. Is it the same for the other? First arc going to the first tick mark, first tick mark going to the double arc. Seems to be the same pathway for both, so these triangles are congruent by angle, side, angle. Okay, number five. So we have this side congruent to this side, and this angle is congruent to that angle. <coughs> that is the only thing we can say about this, you guys, and there's no congruence theorem that proves that SA is congruent by, uh, two triangles are congruent by SA. So this is not congruent triangles. Number six, this 90 degrees is congruent to this 90 degrees. This um, two tick mark side is congruent to this tick mark. Now look at these angles, right you guys? This angle is congruent to this one by vertical angles. Now let's just make sure our pathing is pretty good, right? This angle to this side and this side to that angle. Right? Is it the same as this one? Yes, it is. And since it's the same, you guys, it's congruent by angle, side, angle. So, make sure you pair all your guys' um, side congruencies and whatnot, and make sure you guys make sure the pathing is the same. <laughs> okay, this is, this is a good one. Okay, look at sides are congruent, these angles are congruent, and this sides are congruent. Now, this is a classic case, you guys, of a pathing that goes wrong. So, if you started from the two tick mark, going to the angle, right, and then going to the one tick mark, this triangle is side angle side. But look at the other triangle. This two mark goes all the way over here to this angle. It skips both this angle and this side, right? And then it goes from the angle to that side. Does that look like the same pathing to you. It is not, right? That is not the same pathing, and that's um, not right. So this is not congruent. They have to be <coughs> corresponding, you guys. It has to match up perfectly, including the pathing. Okay, all of these sides, you guys, have a pairing of congruent sides. And you guys can clearly see the whatever pathing you choose. So 2 to 3 to 1, 2 to 3 to 1, they are the same. So these triangles are congruent by side, side, side. <coughs> okay, number 9. This side's congruent to this side. This side's congruent to this side. And look at these angles, you guys. These angles are congruent by vertical angles. Now let's just make sure our pathing is pretty good, right? Second tick mark going to the angle, angle going to the third tick mark. So, because I chose that pathing, it's the same pathing for the other one. So, is it the same? Second tick mark to that angle, the angle to the third tick mark. They seem to be the same, side, angle, side, and that is a triangle congruency. So, that is that. <coughs> and lastly, 10, this side congruent to that side, this side congruent to that side. That side's congruent to itself, and this, you guys, is congruent by side, side, side. So again, just take some practice, you guys. Hopefully that makes sense. You just gotta practice, okay? Good luck, you guys. Peace.